A new documentary this weekend promises to shed more light on Britney Spears and the ongoing legal battle against her father. My next guest knows the singer very, very well as her choreographer and friend. Brian Friedman worked alongside Britney on some of her most iconic videos and tours. And today he's talking for the first time. Brian Friedman joins me now from Los Angeles. Brian, it's so good to talk to you this morning. Thank you for doing this. And um, the two of, of you course. were incredibly close. I mean, we're talking about going back, must be over 20 years. Definitely. Yeah, we go back to 1999 in the beginning of her career. And so what was she like to work with at that time? I mean, she looks like you both look so happy. <laughs> what was she like um, then? Joyful. <laughs> that was, I think, the best years. I mean, it was some of the best years that I had as a performer, getting to travel the world and do what you love. And I know that for her, it was her dream. She was getting to sing, dance, perform on stage, see the world, be around a tight knit group of people that she would perform with. We became a family on the road. So they were definitely the best of times. They were indeed, but you were there when things started to get more difficult. And we saw those tragic, tragic images of her shaving her head and looking so distressed and, and being upset. And you were there, you were there too. And that must've been very, very difficult actually when somebody that you really cared about is, is unraveling like that. Yeah, it was a very difficult time. It's something, you said it earlier, I've never spoken on this and I'm still not here to speak about things that really went on then. All I know is that it was a difficult time for her. It was a difficult time for everyone that was around her. And the conservatorship was put in place for good reasons in the beginning. And I think uh, it was the right decision then. Mm -hmm. And I think things have just definitely changed now. And she has grown a lot. I mean, in my opinion, if she's able to perform on stage and do a show and make all this money, she should be rewarded the basic luxuries of life, like driving a car, having a phone to call your friends, being able to be in a room alone with someone like sure. me. And I haven't been in a room alone with her since the early 2000s. Gosh, and you have you tried to make contact? Because that, that must be quite difficult to actually just get in touch with her. Yeah, it's, it's virtually impossible. And we've worked together since. It's just been a different situation. There's always someone around and you don't really get to have that intimate, personal friend time like we used to. Mm. And she deserves that. She deserves it with her friends. She deserves to make, I think, her decisions for her personal life. I, I would agree with you wholeheartedly. I mean, you know, she's nearly 40. She's a, she's a mother of, of two kids who are, who are growing up all of the time. Um, and she, she is able to perform and do all of these things. It's not so much the conservatorship. I, I think she's all right with that because maybe that protects her in a lot of ways. Yes. You know, she's, she's a very, she seems to me a very generous girl and a very, you know, wanting to do the right thing. And maybe that can make her vulnerable, I guess. I don't know, that's, that's, what, that's what I'm thinking. So in that sense, maybe the conservatorship is a good thing, but it's just the relationship with the dad, I think. I think that's what she wants to, to happen. And like I say, almost 40 years old, you should be able to go in your car and phone your pals, you know, you should. 100%. Um, you know, she is going to be speaking at her next hearing. She wants to have her voice be heard. And I think that is the best thing for everyone. I know her fans want the absolute best for her. And everyone is, is guessing and wondering what she's thinking and what she's feeling. So for her to be able to speak her truth, uh, it will put everyone at ease. Mm. And we can stop wondering what Britney wants, because yeah. then we'll know. Yeah, exactly. She'll be able to speak for herself. And that's that's yes. that's all anybody could could ever hope for. That's right, because you're right. You just want the best for her. I know how fond you are of her and I know how important that she was in your life. And, and everybody just wants her to be happy. That's all. I want to see, for me, I just want to see that sparkle. I want to see the sparkle that she had when we were first working together. Mm. And I have missed that sparkle and I haven't seen that exact glimmer in a very long time. Yeah, I know what you're saying because you came over here, of course, we know you very well from, from the X Factor, yeah. working there as choreographer and also as a judge too. And But when you went back to America to work with Brittany, it was almost, I guess, as if the light had gone from her eyes a little bit, you know, that maybe that, it, if, that's what, if that's the right way to describe it. Yeah, it was, it was just a very unusual circumstance for me. We had such a strong working relationship on the first couple of albums or first three albums that I worked on with her to then go back and have this new situation. You know, she would come to rehearsal 
And I didn't really get to have that building bond with her. Right. She would come in, we would have our moments together and then she was taken out of rehearsal. You know, I didn't have direct contact. Phone numbers weren't given at that point. There was just definitely a, a wall put up and I don't believe it's a wall that she put up. Mm -hmm. It was just this barrier that was created because of the conservatorship. And it went on when, when we worked on uh, the Femme Fatale album, it happened, she was a judge on X Factor US. So we were able to work together again in that capacity, but that same wall was put up. So. I haven't been able to connect with her. Mm. And that and must be really sad. I would sad. love to connect. I know, when some, because for all, for all the right reasons, you just want to make sure that she's okay. Um, and I know you've tried, and you've Completely. tried via Instagram, you've tried via all of these things, and it's, um, yeah, it's just it just seems really sad. And clearly, there wouldn't be all this, if everything was okay, Brian, if everything was fine and she was fine, there wouldn't be all of these court battles. It just wouldn't be happening, because there would be no need. No, and I, being someone who's been so close to her and the whole situation, I've been in this for 20 years now, I didn't even understand the full scope of the conservatorship. I watched the documentary myself mm. and I was hearing things that I hadn't heard before and learning new things from watching that documentary. And uh, it definitely pulled... <laughs> the wool off of my eyes for a second. And it wasn't until then that I really wanted to start speaking up for this and advocating for her because she needs her voice to be heard. Yeah, and she needs her friends. She needs her pals. She, she needs people that, that, she that knew her for, for a long, long time because that's absolutely invaluable, those people that have been around you. And, you know, when you're just starting to yeah. get into the crazy world of, of being fam globally famous, you know, you need people there to say, ah, I remember that. We did that and it was all these good memories. You need people that knew you before yes, you got big, people yes. that are going to tell you the truth and be honest and don't want anything from you. You're so Those right. Those are real Brian. friends. They are absolutely real friends. They really are. Thank you so, so much for joining us of this course. morning. I really it's appreciate so good to it. See you. And next time you're over here, you've got to come on and we'll have a we'll have a chat about what you've been up to and I how will. you're doing. Thank you, Brian. Thank Perfect. you so much. Thank you. Don't forget you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations, and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.